somebody have a great Lincoln out there, God will take it out. They want to put it, they're going to put it.
From love, if you have any problems, come to your parents, okay? Just show your parents that you love them. If you have any problems, talk to somebody, some adult. Let me see. <laughs> He's scared. What you want to keep looking for? Child's scared. You need a body. Okay, any crosses out right here? Lift your head up. No. Oh, they hit him in his eye. Get your hands all out of his eye. Let me see. Did he have a before he left? No. Nope. Nope. What was he saying? He left the 
It's my baby here. Okay. What's up, Yummy. I know you didn't want it, me. I couldn't talk to you, baby. I wish I could have. <laughs> huh. Hello. I love you, Yami. I love you, baby. Why they would do you like this, I don't know. Why they would take you away from me? They hug. You are still my angel. I love you, Yami. You are still mine. You're still here with me. you away from me, Yami. Why did they do this to you? Why would they do it to you, Yami? I begged them to bring you home. What did they do to you? Yeah. You are still my baby. Hey. You don't even know me now. Stop from Belton Hospital.
Daniel.
11 years old. Friday, we got an extension to be seated. Give his family strength in this hour. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name.
Amen. Amen. Certain things that we don't do Amen. when we are in church. Amen. 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 This is a service. And remember that. You don't respect nothing. Respect the fact that this place has been hollowed out as a place of worship. That's right. You don't need anybody to come and make a fiasco out of something that we're trying to do in the midst of our sorrow. So let us be mindful of the fact that we are in service and we come to give God worship. Let's say amen. 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 We honor the Lord today in his might and in his power. We thank God for this day. So this is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. At this time, we are going to begin order of services commemorating Moroccan. Praise the Lord Jesus. For Jesus said, Suffer little children to come unto me, and forbid them not, for such is the kingdom of God. Matthew 19 and 14. Prayer, Pastor of Youth Center, Elder Espadale McGee. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come, Lord, to thank you. Thank you for your tender mercy. Lord, you've been so good to us. You've blessed us, and we thank you for it right now. Lord, we ask you to look in this direction. Look on everyone in the name of Jesus. We know that you labor, Lord. We ask you to look on the Marie. Touch everyone. Oh, God, we can't make it without you. Oh, God, come into the room now. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, we need you now. We can't get along without you. Lord, breathe on us. Look on every member of the family. In the name of Jesus. Give strength, oh God. In the name of Jesus. I know you said in your word that you'll wipe all tears away. You will give us joy, oh God. Thank you right now, Lord. Bless in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. We are in services <coughs> memorializing our dearly beloved brother, Brother Robert Sanderfield. Amen. Please let's respect the family. Amen. At this time, we're going to have scripture reading. Pastor Don K. Barrett of the Faith, Hope, and Charity Church of God in Christ. God bless. In respect to the Holy Word of God, reading from the 18th chapter of Matthew. Beginning at the first verse. And at the same time came the disciples unto Jesus, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And Jesus called a little child unto him and said, The kingdom of heaven. Amen. I'd just like to say, God bless you. At this time, we represent the Gatlin's Chapel. We give praises and glory to God. We give an honor to all of the ministers that sat on the rocks today and to all of the dignitaries that may be in this house today. But at this time, we come to share with the family because we care. We care because we know that earth has no sorrow, that heaven cannot heal. And it was David who said the other day that I will lift up my eyes into the hills from which cometh my help. For surely, all of my help cometh from God who made the heavens and the earth. Just for the opportunity of allowing us to serve you today, we would like to present to you the greatest book that ever been written, printed, or published, that is the Holy Bible, which contains the roadmap for salvation. May God forever bless and the heavens continue to smile upon you, and we thank you so much. Amen. Presentation from the Gallery Funeral Service. Yes, I know. Praise the Lord at this time. We're going to bring to you a solo from the great aunt, Mrs. Denisa K. McGee. It is so hard to say goodbye. Amen.
to let these young people know and understand and to assist them in having the hope that is there for them. Hope is not dead, hope is yet alive. And we as a people must reach out and grasp that hope. Many times there are questions that resound and permeate the air of our day. Questions such as how do we deal with the loss? How do we deal with those who are shut out and those who are rejected and those who are set aside and pushed aside? How do we deal with such mammoth problems of our cities and our inner cities? Homelessness and crime and all of these kinds of things. And all these answers I will say to you, all these questions rather, I must say to you have an answer and if I could do but one thing, and that is to share what I feel would be the greatest answer to all the great questions of our day. And that answer is placing our hope as our forefathers, our parents, our grandparents, and our great-grandparents. They placed their hope in Jesus Christ. Yes. All right. And through placing their hope in Christ, they found answers to the questions Questions that politicians cannot answer. Questions that all of the social programs, the midnight basketball, the free lunches and the giveaways cannot answer. There's a greater question and that's a question that has a purpose. Pastor Campbell was singing the song, we'll understand it better by and by. And certainly if we realize that Nothing happens by chance or circumstance, but if we shall seize the moment, if we shall seize the moment Amen. and pull up on the moment to pull ourselves together, together as a church, together as a community, together as a family, together as a city, I believe if we allow Christ to have his rightful place in our lives, in our homes, in our families, in our communities, God would be pleased and this world would be a better place. Right, it is my prayer that we seize this moment, yes. that we not let this experience be in vain, but that we seize upon the moment and the time. And as it presents to us a challenge that only we can meet, the White House can't meet this challenge for us. Amen. City Hall can't even meet this challenge for us. Our congressmen cannot meet this challenge for us, but we as individuals must seize upon the moment, rise up to this challenge, and let the world know that we care, that we're concerned, and that we will make a difference. May God bless you and keep you. Amen. Because the Lord is good. Sometimes when things like this happen, the devil tell you God is not good. But God is yet a good God. Yes, he is. Praise the Lord Jesus. God has blessed me to be the mother of a lot of children. Praise God. Somebody counted my grandchildren and great grands and says I had 106 all together of uh, grandchildren and great grands. I give them all the love I can. And I teach them all I can about the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
you cannot make sure to live holy, right. but you can teach them how to live holy. Right. Praise God. And not the one that passed through my home that I didn't tell them about the Lord. Right. Praise God. For his time to serve the Lord. Yes. It's nothing but the devil that turns people's mind away from the Lord. Yes. It's nothing but the devil that makes you do evil things. Yes. Amen. Yes. Praise God. So I come against the devil with all of my heart. Yes. Praise God. My heart and soul. I come against him with all the folks of the Lord. Cast him out in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Nothing gonna make me take down. Nothing gonna make me hold my head down. Cause I live for Jesus every day. Not one day, but every day. Praise God, and nothing the devil can do to make me look down. Praise God, cause I'm gonna continue to lift up the name of Jesus. He has boys and girls all over the world. His living for the Lord is what it's all about. Praise God, not in the streets. Going to church and serving the Lord. God hear the children pray. Praise God. I'm going to quote a few scriptures here. It says, you see, 6, 1, 2, and 3. It says, children, obey your parents obey in the Lord. Yeah. For this is right. Yeah. Honor thy father and mother, yeah. which is the first commandment yeah. with promise. Yeah. Praise the Lord. And the third verse says, that it may be well with thee, yeah. and thou may live long yeah. on the earth. Okay. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Yeah. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you.
There's so many things that's going on in this world, you know, and we have to look after our children. And, you know, the children are our future, you know, and people don't realize that. But, you know, parents, you know, every day just pray for your children as they go to school, and when they come home, and when they go to bed at night. You know, just pray for him because that could have been my child down there. He's 12 years old, and that could have been him. It could have been me. It could have been you. But, you know, just pray because our children, you know, they need us. And uh, I'm going to sing this song by myself. Um, my, the person that was supposed to sing with me, she's not here, but I'm going to do it to the glory and honor of God. Why should I feel discouraged? And why should the shadows come? And why should my heart?